The day has come. The horn blasters kit is in. Time to break it out. So we're here under the truck with the horn blasters kit. We had to build our own bracket. So we took a piece of a grill and reinforced it with some aluminum. Courtesy of Papa the engineer. Yeah, that's right. So we're making this work, building our own spare tire delete kit. We're gonna winch it up with that spare tire winch right there. And hopefully this is all gonna go in today. If you're interested in seeing how we mount this safety horn on a 22 Ram 3500, you're gonna learn today, hopefully. <laughs> or, yeah, or, guess or we might learn today. Yeah, somebody's gonna learn some shit that might not be the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I worry, we're fixing to find out. Oh, here we go. All right, progress report 17 hours later. We made a hole for the safety safety plug deal in case it needs to exit the chat. Cut the spring down so this thing fits better here. When you all mount this thing, you're gonna wanna have the compressor sit upright, just like so. We mounted the tank with the bracket up. And we got the horn assembly here. Papa fabbed up a little bracket there and mounted that there. Now we just gotta tighten everything down. See how it goes. Yeah. All right, so we got it hooked up here. Looks like the compressor's working. It's on switch number two. We're getting pressure in the tank. Still gotta button some things up, but looks like we're off to a good start here. All right, it looks like we got I think it's just shy of 150. Just shy of 150 PSI. All right. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> Hopefully that horn works. You gonna let it fly? We're gonna let it fly. You ready? That's a loud ass horn. Honestly, if you were under there and that went off, that yeah. might that might f you up for life. That's that's a loud unit, that's for sure. Damn show. Tell me if it's loud. Okay. All right, we're gonna break in the train horns. We're about to scare Reverse Jackson. He's pulling up right now. Here we go. All right, Reverse Jackson's pulling up. He always parks next to my truck. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I'm so out of breath from running to my truck. It's a thousand degrees in here. No! The one time he doesn't park next to me. Oh, Just sneak up in front of them and then honk. And they do the rest. Watch this. <laughs> I've never 
never seen you get that scared in my whole life. <laughs> I thought you were in there. I, I know you would have rigged something up to do it wirelessly. You'd hide anywhere. Jesus Christ. Well, they work. Yeah. Actually, that sounds a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm being honest here. Jesus Christ. Oh. Well, it works. <laughs> Go. Damn. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your old pal Magdump again. So it's been a couple days. We had a slight issue with the horn system. So the hose that goes from your tank to the horn apparently holds pressure all the time. So you have to put pipe tape on it. I mean, you should not over tighten the nut because you forgot to put pipe tape on it and it's leaking. So made a little mistake. But the guys at Horn Blasters were super cool about it. No issues, no questions asked, really. Um, they were more than happy to send us not only the nut, but a whole new fitting. So it was super quick. It took like two days. And not only did they send a brand new fitting, but they sent me, they sent me a bunch of cool stuff, which honestly, like th throughout this whole truck building process, I've got a lot of mixed experiences with dealing with different companies. I mean, you never know what you're going to get. And I've had a lot of bad experiences, honestly. But I'd rather focus on the good than the bad. And honestly, like Horn Blasters has been so great since the beginning. So big shout out to Horn Blasters. Thanks for being awesome, y'all. I mean, you make a great product and you take care of your customers. And from all of us at Money Throttle Off-Road, we appreciate it. So without further ado, let me show you what we got in the box. All right, so we got the box here. Man, it's been a while since we did an unboxing. All right. So really like this is all they needed to send. Right here, this is the compression nut and fitting. Um, I'll show you up in the corner about here. Um, so that's the piece that cracked. Uh, we over tightened it because we didn't have pipe tape on it. So they sent us a brand new one, but not only that, the great folks at Horn Blasters sent us two full-size flags. They sent us an awesome lanyard and they sent us not one, not two, not three, but four freaking t-shirts, man. That's awesome. You got horn if you're honky. You got I heart cops. You got loud AF. If anyone knows what AF means, throw it in the comments. We're a little confused here. And lastly, we got this one. And, um... I was a little confused when I pulled this out of the box, but um, Detective Magdum came out and we figured out exactly what was going on here. So you fold this up, ba bam, and oh, very sneaky, Horn Blasters, very sneaky. And of course, a bunch of stickers. Can never have enough stickers. Let us know what y'all think about this Horn Blasters kit. We're super excited to use it. Let us know if you want to see some horn pranks because we have a loud AF horn right now and we're fixing to use it. Horn blasters, we appreciate y'all. See y'all on the next one. From all of us here at Muddy Throttle Off-Road, thanks for watching.